May the peace of the living God be unto you, beloved in Christ, which situation is drowning in you. I want to give you a perfect antidote for the situation which actually seems to be drowning you. Glory to the Holy Spirit. When we read the book of Psalm 119, the verse 92 and 93, the scripture says, Unless thy law had been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. 93 says, Nevertheless, I will not forget thy precept, for with them thou hast quickened me. Glory to the Holy Spirit. I don't know of the situation which actually seems to be drowning you, but David went into the same situation. And the scripture says he was able to come out of that thing through one particular thing. One thing I want us to know is that the word of God is not a history book. But the word of God is there to serve as a guide and to serve as a comfort for we believers. Glory to the Holy Spirit. So kindly know that the word of God is not a story book. It is not a history book. But it is a book which actually serves as a guide to cause we believers to hope in the Lord and to have comfort. The scripture says, Unless thy law had been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. So David in his affliction, he was actually at a verge and at a point of perishing in that affliction. But he actually came to the realization of one thing. He quickly turned his feet onto the word of the living God, and the word of the living God now became his delight. The moment the word of God became his delight, that affliction which actually seems to be drowning him actually ceased. The affliction couldn't drown him. The 93 says, I will not forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. So the moment his delight or the moment his focus was shifted to the word of the living God, there was a quickening for his life. It means he was brought out of that situation. Beloved in Christ, I want to challenge you that in that situation, in that challenging situation, just turn your feet onto the word of God. Just set your focus onto the word of God and it will shock you that the word of God will bring you out of that situation. Because the word of God is exalted above that situation that you are going through. So let the word of God be your delight and let it be your focus in that peril that you are going through. And it will shock you how the word of God will lift you up from that situation. It will shock you how the word of God will cause you to fly with the wings of an eagle above that situation. And I pray for you that may the living God cause you to set your focus and your gaze upon his word starting from now and beyond by the power of the Holy Ghost. And so shall it be in the name of the Lord Jesus. May the Lord bless you, beloved in Christ, and please do all to like this video and share it to other people in the faith. Peace. Shalom.